Hi and welcome back to my morning report chart appraisals for Thursday the 21st of August with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech Markets. I'm going to move on to sterling dollar now and sterling dollar has been one of the weaker forex majors um, major pairs of the uh, of the lot and uh, certainly that weakness has been driven again by these Fed meeting minutes to hawkish um, hawkish leanings on the Fed completely um, turned around the early morning uh, strength that we saw on on the uh, on the cable that uh, was driven by hawkish leaning from the Bank of England, but certainly then uh, subsequently that was trumped by uh, the Fed. So this chart continues to deteriorate, and there's no real sign of any let up. And certainly on the uh, momentum indicators, all very bearish. The only thing you'd probably be pointing to is the fact that the RSI is in, um, at a, an extremely low level. And maybe that could induce a bit of a technical rally, and certainly uh, this RSI has been bumping along above and, uh, and back below 30 for um, a good few weeks now, and maybe that could induce the next just slight rebound back above 30. That would take the cable maybe back towards that 66, um, 66.50 area, and to be honest, if you look overnight... That was that was the 66.50 uh, support area that uh, turned into resistance, uh, and that that was the spike yesterday on the Fe on the Bank of England meeting minutes. But then, uh, subsequently, uh, cable just started to find resistance once again below that 66.50 area. So uh, interesting that uh, that I think is now the resistance. Uh, you've also got a minor res minor resistance overnight. Um, that comes in around that 66 figure but I think anything between 66 figure and 66.50 should be used as a chance to sell once again because I think there's, there is further downside in this chart although it is slightly stretched near term and it's a little bit far away from that downtrend so maybe you could see a little bit of a rebound but I don't see it going too far. The um, caveat to that is you do have Jeanette Yellen speaking tomorrow and she could well come out with a, because she is obviously a, a, one of the chief doves on the Fed committee, uh, FOMC committee, and maybe she could come up with something that uh, retains that dovish outlook, but uh, and that would presumably pull cable higher, but I think that would still just be a near-term blip uh, within the downtrend. I think that that would also be um, constitute a pretty good chance to sell as well, so uh, I'll see how that plans out. But until then, I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later.